The top 10 best players in the NBA right now. In today's video, we'll list the top 10 best players in the NBA. But before we start, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Number 10. John Morant is only 23 years old and is without a doubt one of the most exciting players to watch in the NBA. At 6'3", he is one of the best finishers at his position and is very slithery around the rim when he needs to be. As we all know, Morant's athleticism is off the charts and he uses his speed and agility to blaze past defenders in the transition as well as in the half court. Morant also has underrated handles and can make even the best defenders look silly. His flashy style of play is what brings in fans along with his high-flying dunks. In our opinion, Ja is the best in-game dunker in the league. He reminds us of prime Derrick Rose, and we all know how dynamic of a dunker he was. At the start of the 2022-23 season, he's playing great. In the first three games of this season, he's averaging 34 points and 7 assists while shooting 57% from 3 on 4.7 attempts per game. While we don't expect his three-point percentage to continue to be that high, his improvement from deep will surely take his game to the next level. Number 9. Damian Lillard is back and better than ever. Honestly, basketball fans forgot just how good of a player he is. Dame is one of the best shot creators and tough shot makers in today's NBA. At 6'3", he has unbelievable accuracy and range from 3. He's a career 37% three-point shooter on over 8 attempts per game. Dame just knows how to get a bucket. He knows where his spots are on the court, and he gets to them without any problem. While he's not really considered a superstar, we think with a really good supporting cast around him, he could make a championship run. Just like John Morant, he's been playing great in his first three games with the Portland Trailblazers. In the first few games, he's averaging 34 points, 5 rebounds, and 4 assists while shooting 36% from 3 and 93% from the line. Dame also scored 41 points in the overtime win over the Phoenix Suns. It also becomes the 200th occurrence in which he scored at least 30 points or more in a game. After that, he put up another 41 points on the Los Angeles Lakers and hit the clutchest shot of the night, sending the Lakers home with a loss. Number 8. Joel Embiid is one of the most dominant players in the NBA and is the second best big man in the league. When Embiid decides to post you up, there's no way you can stop him from getting to the rim. The 28-year-old is 280 pounds of muscle, and although post-scoring seems to be a lost art, Joel shows that it isn't completely gone just yet. The Post Monster is also one of the best three-point shooting centers in the NBA. In his last two seasons, he shot over 37% from three. On the other end of the court, he's a pretty good shot blocker and post defender when he puts in the effort, but that's the problem. Because out of all the guys on this list, Embiid has the most games where he looks uninterested in the game, and it has been called out for multiple years now. And again, that's been the story to start this 2022-23 season. The 76ers have started off the season 0-3, and while he isn't the sole reason for the rough start, he definitely plays a part. His stats aren't bad for the most part. In the first few games, he's averaging 27 points, 13 rebounds, and 3.7 assists per game. But he's also shooting a paltry 18% from the three-point line on 3.7 attempts per game. But honestly, that's not the problem. There are times on the court when he's not aggressive at all and is very passive when his team needs him the most. However, even after all of that, he's still one of the best players in the NBA. So when he has it going, watch out. Number 7. Kevin Durant is still the best scorer in the NBA and has never averaged less than 20 points per game in his entire career. One on one, he is literally unstoppable. And that's the main reason the Boston Celtics doubled and even triple teamed him in the first round of last season's playoffs. He's seven feet tall with a silky smooth jumper and a soft touch that makes mid-range jumpers fall in with regularity. KD is also money from the foul line and his 88% career free throw shooting percentage more than backs that up. That just adds to his ability to be clutch. He can hit long threes in big timely moments or stand alone at the line and drain two big free throws effortlessly. On the defensive end, while he hasn't been an elite defender by any means, he's actually been pretty solid dating back to his time with the Warriors. He's a solid shot blocker and has no problem contesting dunks from centers of all sizes. In the first two games for the Brooklyn Nets, he's averaging 29.5 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists, and 3 blocks while shooting 33% from 3 and 84% from the line. Number 6. Even at 37 years old, there is no surprise to see LeBron James in the top 10. He averaged 30 points per game last season and was extremely close to winning the second scoring title in year 19. Although he isn't capable of putting an entire team on his back anymore, he's still capable of making championship runs with a little help from his teammates. James is still a top two finisher in the league. He's just too strong and has no problem pushing defenders around for easy baskets. 
and that skill seems to have gotten better with age because he is bulldozing through players more than ever. As for his playmaking ability, he is still elite. Every game he throws two or three accurate bullet passes to cutters or open shooters. There is no player in the NBA who can control the tempo and pace of a game like him, and this is why he averages seven assists for his entire career. On the defensive end, he is solid for the most part. On some possessions, he looks like the best defender in the league, and then on other possessions, he looks like the worst. Again, he's 37 years old, so the fact that he's still able to play good defense in spurts is amazing in itself. In the first few games of this season, the King is averaging 27 points, 11 rebounds, and 7 assists while shooting 47% from the field and 76% from the line. Although he's shooting 25% from three, we don't expect it to be that low as the season progresses, but he still shoots way more threes than he needs to. Number 5. Kawhi Leonard has recently come off a knee injury that had him sidelined for the entirety of last season. With him back, the Los Angeles Clippers are definitely back in a championship run. He's a great scorer from all three levels, with his best spot on the court being in the mid-range. Kawhi could drain shots from there all game, and combine this with his improvement from three, and you have a player that's nearly unstoppable. He's shot 37% from three for the last three seasons, which really labeled him as an elite player. And while he's not the same defender he once was, he's still one of the best all-around defenders in the NBA who can guard anyone. He's truly one of the best two-way players in the NBA. And if he gets 100% healthy, we wouldn't be surprised to see the Clippers be favored to win it all. For the start of this season, he's only played one game. In that game, he was on a minute restriction and only played 21 minutes against the Lakers. In that game, he scored 14 points and had 7 boards and even came away with the win. Number 4. Luka Doncic has been playing out of his mind recently. In his first two games, he's already averaging 33 points, 8 rebounds, and 8 assists while shooting 94% from the line on 9 attempts per game. Over the last two seasons, Luka has been establishing himself as a superstar and the future of the NBA. And the crazy thing is, he's only 23 years old, which means he's not even officially in his prime yet. His ability to score the basketball is one thing, but he's really gifted at dishing out passes to his teammates. He's averaged over six assists per game every season of his short career. And with the Dallas Mavericks having a pretty good roster, we wouldn't be surprised to see Luka win his first title very soon. Number three. Nikola Jokic, better known as the Joker, is one of the most exciting players to watch in today's game. Which is weird because he isn't fast, quick, or a high-flying dunker, but the way he delivers the ball is a thing of beauty. Honestly, he might very well be the best passer in all of basketball. The amount of ridiculous passes he makes on a nightly basis can only be replicated by a few players like LeBron, Chris Paul, and Luka Magic. But what makes it so impressive is the fact that it's a 7-foot center making passes centers shouldn't be making. As for scoring, he has a soft touch around the rim and is an excellent free throw shooter. At 285 pounds, the Joker is a handful to guard in the post, and with his sneaky footwork and agility, he's just about unstoppable. Which is the reason he's won two back-to-back -back MVP awards. Number 2. Stephen Curry should be in everyone's top three if we're being honest. If you need proof, then let us remind you of his numbers in last year's finals versus Celtics. He averaged 31 points, 6 rebounds, and 5 assists while shooting 43% from three on nearly 12 attempts per game. Yeah, we know. Those numbers are remarkable. And to start off this season, he's already averaging 33 points, 5 rebounds, and 5 assists while shooting 37.5% from 3 and 100% from the line in his first two games. The greatest shooter of all time is 34 years old and is arguably playing the best basketball of his career. In part, that's thanks to his much improved defense. And while he's not a lockdown defender, we can honestly say the days of Curry being picked on in mismatches are over. Number 1. The Greek Freak is the best player in the NBA, and not only that, but he's the most dominant player. There isn't a player who can stop Giannis from getting to the basket. He's a cheat code on the court. What really sets him apart from other players is his defense. He is without a doubt a top three defender in the NBA and could easily win Defensive Player of the Year just about every season. He's the best two-way player in the league, and that just makes him even more of a great player. His greatness has definitely been showing to start this 2022-23 season. In his first two games, he's averaging 32 points, 12 rebounds, and 5 assists while shooting 70% from the field. But what do you think? Do you agree with our list? Who is the best player in the NBA? Let us know in the comment section below. Did you enjoy this video? If so, hit the like button and subscribe to NBA Swish for more amazing NBA content just like this. Take care, and we'll see you in the next one.